Get to question five. Question five says, if a book weighs 10 pounds, what is the total force on it when it is sitting on a table? Okay, and again, if you jump to conclusion too quickly, you might say, okay, 10 pounds, it's sitting on a table, your total force on it is 10 pounds, okay? Well, what's happening? Well, when it is sitting on a table, gravity is pushing it down with 10 pounds. So when we say it's 10 pounds, that's the weight of gravity on it. The table is pushing it up with 10 pounds. That's why it's not moving anywhere, right? It's not accelerating. So the total force on it is zero, 10 minus 10, and we call this the normal force, the table pushing up on the uh, book. So the to total force on it is zero pounds, right? What would be the total force on it if I threw the book up after, or if I threw the book down while it is in the air, right? Well, uh, if you ignore air friction as the book is going up or as the book is going down, the total force on it would still be the same. It would be 10 pounds and it would be directed downward, right? So if, the, if it said if the book weighs 10 pounds, what is the total force on it if it's going up or if it's going down? The answer would have been 10 pounds, and then if, if it had given asked for the direction, you would have said down, right? But since in this case it's sitting on a table, the total force on it is zero pounds. Okay, thank you.